today I'm going to be playing an OTK deck featuring the newly released Silas Dark Moon. So if you're not familiar with this combo, the plan is to summon Soulbound Ash Tongue, and then you play Silas Dark Moon to give your opponent control of the Soulbound Ash Tongue, and then you Shield Slam it, dealing damage to your opponent's face equal to however much armor you have. So of course we need to reliably be able to gain armor. To do so we have armor smiths, as well as a risky skipper package. And then on top of that we play some other good armor cards like shield block and Cargath blade fist. And to preserve our armor we play a bunch of the classic warrior removal package that has proven itself to be pretty powerful. So I think overall my build of this deck is pretty similar to a lot of people's. But I did add a little splash of flavor by including Playmaker in this deck. So Cargath Blade Fist is a really good way to gain some armor, and with Playmaker we can make a copy of it. Or we can just use Playmaker along with Restless Mummy on turn 7 to be a pretty good board clear, which is also good for the deck. So yeah. I think the list looks pretty solid, and it's always fun to kill people when they're at full health, right? I think we can do better than these. Not sure what Shaman's gonna be at Diamond 5. These Blade Storms are probably pretty nice to have. Blade Storm really wrecks Totem Shaman. Um. I don't really want to bladestorm that, if I'm being honest. I'll just let him get an extra card out of it. I'm not sure if it's worth it, but we'll see. Taunt Totem was the only scary one there. Am I so desperate for armor that I hero power instead of playing evil quartermaster here? I don't think so. Could have saved this to be a risky skipper activator, which obviously is pretty relevant with this hand. But evolving the 2-3 seemed kind of good. I guess I'll get the Bulwark and play. I think I'm like super duper not interested in hitting him in the face. So I'll just trade into his totems. Okay. That card doesn't really get better against my deck, so fair enough. I could really go for a Battle Rage right about now. Hargath would be pretty good as well. Restless Mummy. Sure, I think I take the Restless Mummy value. Not the cleanest, but still pretty good. And it protects my armor, which is always nice. Wow. That's a heck of an earthquake. Bloodsworn Mercenary is pretty cool. So I have Skipper, Armorsmith, Mercenary. It's a good amount of armor. Mind if I roll need? Could you 
repeat that? Cargath Blade Fist. Very nice card. Could copy it with Bloodsworn Mercenary. Let's me kill both of these, protects my armor. I'm pretty hesitant to go for a risky skipper play when I don't have a battle rage. Let's just play this card. Cargath Prime is definitely a good card to draw into. Maybe I'm undervaluing my Bloodsworn Mercenary, though. It's possible that the right play was just, like, Skipper plus Cargath. That card's not very useful. I think I just chill. Yeah, that Witch's Brew is not going to be very good for your face. Two Loot Hoarders. I thought he was Highlander. Hmm. Lord Barov. Well, I don't want to let those small minions hit me in the face, so I am playing Brawl or Bladestorm here. I think I do want to save one of the Skippers for Battle Rage and maybe the other one for Barov. So, Bladestorm or Brawl. I guess I'll just go Bladestorm. To keep a variety of cards in hand. I hope you like my invention. I will act as your steel. I guess I play Brawl here. And then maybe clean up with a mummy. Or maybe I just go Skipper Barov. Guarantee full clear and get my armor up. I can't really imagine that deck having bigger stuff that I want to Barov clear. I mean, he's going to have the Galakrond. I mean, that is a bit of a problem. But the more I protect this bulwark, the less that's an issue later. I don't love this, but I think it's okay. Four fours. Well, one of them is just gonna die here. Oh no, he can use that to kill my bear off. Uh, this might be a good enough. Actually, it's a restless mummy, right? Not a blade storm. If I didn't have restless mummy, this might have been a good enough blade storm. No tomb can hold me. And I think this armor smith can do better. I'm getting close to the point where if I can just find a shield slam, I'll have lethal. Still have two battle rages, which are very good draws. Shield blocks are okay. Any of my eight drops are okay. So, uh, I've got some good draws coming up. But I do have some stinkers. Hitting Sky Raider or Corsair Cash would not be great. I think I just absolutely have to save this skipper for Battle Rage. Nice. It was like Goblin Lackey, except my thing didn't get Rush. Storm approaches. 
What's even scary here? Probably just the 8 8. So this is why we play Brawl. Hopefully this isn't a disaster. Oh, that card's good. Uh, I think this is still a Brawl turn, though. It's got some scary stuff. If one of the big things lives, maybe I Blade Storm. 2-1. Um, probably just chill. Too many cards. Could you repeat that? Good old playmaker. Well, my only rush minions remaining are the big ones. So I would have to get my playmaker to stick to the board for a turn. Which is not very likely. But man, there is definitely some payoff if I can get it to stick to the board for a turn. Maybe I just go like Bladestorm, Playmaker, Hero Power here. Well, I guess it's never actually living this turn, but maybe he has to trade this off. Eh, I don't know. Probably should have just played Kargath Prime that turn, the more I think about it. I mean, this is still fine, though. The Playmaker doesn't really get better, and uh, I don't think the Bladestorm really gets that much better, either. He's got another Hex in his hand, which doesn't really matter at all. Well, I don't know. I guess it does make it easier for him to deal with the Kargath Prime. But still costs him 4 mana to deal with it after I kill something and get 10 armor. He's getting pretty low on cards over there. Is this an Archivist Elysiana deck? Could be. Hey, there it is. The worst draw on my deck. Uh, Definitely hero powering. I guess I probably just play this. And then he probably hexes it. But, like I said, hex does cost him 4 mana. And, uh... Like, I don't want this to be stuck in my hand if I draw another Kargath Prime or Deathwing or, like, shield blocks. There's just, like, so much stuff where I would rather just spend the mana on this here. Oh, there's the shield slam. Let's make sure I click the right thing. Uh, that way? Okay, yeah. One mana deal 40 damage. OP. Magni versus Thranda. You give me strength. For Cosmodon. Against Priest. I think I kind of just want to find Battle Rage. That card is really good. Ankar and Corsair Cash as well, of course. Alright, got the Battle Rage. We also got the Soulbound Ash Tongue in the opener. It's one of our combo cards. Should be pretty good 15 turns from now. I could have not armored here to potentially take damage for Battle Rage, but I don't know. Feels a little bit too obvious, maybe. I think I do skip Shield Block, though. 
Because if I get five armor here, it's probably going to be hard for Battle Rage to ever draw that card. Four, six. Well, if that's a four, six, Restless Mummy looks pretty good. But maybe I don't want a Restless Mummy here since I do have a Playmaker in my hand. Could just Hero Power pass and then maybe Brawl next turn. He's going to have at least three minions worth brawling, or two minions worth brawling, I guess. Of course, he's probably heard of the card Brawl. So, uh, he's not going to play anything here, but that's fine. I think I just Brawl here. I'm not super worried about him playing a bunch of minions in that deck. Okay, his biggest one lived, as expected. But from this point on, I do have the Playmaker coin Restless Mummy curve. Might even just be good this turn. Oh, that's cute. I feel like that's maybe not the best use of your Zephyrus in this matchup, but... I don't know for sure. You aren't even ready for this. No tool can hold me. No tool That was a pretty decent clear. You are a Christian and He can't abuse that, can he? All right, so we go Skipper, Armorsmith, Mercenary, Battle Rage. That's eight mana, so I'm not doing that this turn, I guess. Let's see what this guy can do for me. Could save this for Skipper, but it looks like I don't really need to. Uh, these are all pretty not good. Coerce could be okay, though. He... Oh, yeah, he played Zephyr, so he definitely is Highlander. I was gonna say he appears to be Highlander, but, uh... That's not much of a read at this point. But, yeah, anyway, so Coerce could hit, like, Dragon Queen Alexstrasza or something, is what I was getting at there. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna shield block. I do potentially miss an armor up, but uh, I think it's fine. Is clear. Your is being I'm not sure if any of this is too scary. Scariest is probably like Armorsmith, honestly. So this thing has three health in the death rattle. Skipper, Smith, Mercenary is only two AoE. But, I mean, I don't really have to kill that thing. I could draw six cards here. That's too many, though. Let's just play Deathwing. Okay. Coerce was actually pretty good. Let's his Veil Weaver chain continue. I do want to kill this. Could go Kargath plus Bloodsworn Mercenary to kill it, but uh, giving up my Bloodsworn Mercenary kind of sucks. Actually, with Ashtung and 
Silas in hand. I don't think I can do that. I really just need to save the mercenary for the armor smith. I'm just gonna coerce that thing, I think. This isn't, like, great, <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I think it's fine. The nightmare here is that he has Dragon Queen Alexstrasza, but even then I can just go Skipper Barov. Okay. Isn't Shadowward Pain just bad there? Oh, I guess this does have 6 health. Alright, well there's the Shield Slam, so all I need now is the armor. We've got a good start on this armor so far. Okay, I picked up the other skipper to go with the bear off. I could actually shield slam this. Maybe if I don't shield slam it, I'm gonna lose a bunch of armor anyway. This is, like, the sketchiest shield slam that's ever been cast. But I think it makes some sense here. I didn't really want to see that AoE, but I did get quite a bit of armor off of it. I have ten cards in deck. I need the one shield slam. This draws the Sky Raider. Could Ankar, Skipper, Sky Raider. That's five. I think for this turn, I'm just gonna go Blade Storm, Ankar, Hero Power. Maybe next turn is like Skipper, Raider, Battle Rage for three, and then just clear with Barov. Evil Quartermaster is pretty good here. It gives me the armor I need, and it uh, lets me clear. Wow, that was the worst two drop. Alright, so we're still just looking for that shield slam. Five cards in deck, and I do have a shield block in hand. I also have a bunch of removal, so... Shouldn't be too hard to deal with. And there's Murazon, so I'm allowed to play Bulwark now. Sarakash doesn't do anything. I can just go Barov plus Bladestorm here if I want. Barov, Bladestorm, Shield Block. That would give me a 50% chance that I could kill him next turn. 
even if he ends up having like Dragon Queen Alexstrasza, I can either stall or just answer it. Hargath Prime. Well, I can't play it here, but it's pretty good. So I think if I don't hit this shield slam here, Hargath Prime looks pretty appealing. I mean, the super greedy option is Playmaker Restless Mummy, and then maybe the Playmaker lives for Cargath Prime. So many I don't know. That's not that risky. Like, I don't really need this armor. It's actually more of a full clear. I think I like this, actually. Probably better to trade this off because of Shadow Madness. So the question is, do I Hero Power or, or Bulwark? I have seen Murazond already. And based on the cards he's randomly generated, he can't have another Murazond in hand. But it could always be like Dragon Queen Alexstrasza Murazond. I feel like I just really don't need this Bulwark in play. I'm either just going to kill him next turn, or if I whiff, then I can just gain 12 armor next turn and kill him the following turn. Seems like the bulwark just isn't important. Alright, he does kill the playmaker. Shield Slam is at the bottom. That would have been a tragic Mind Render Lucia top deck. Dealt 49 damage for one mana, and ended up with a sick board. 